dear brothers and sisters, we offer our mass today for the following reasons. For the birthday of the King of Lana, Bertie Tolentino, Arena Mozo, IRS Viduya, Rose Cunanan, and for the special intentions of Elaine Alejandrino, Emelda and Tita de los Reyes, Ted and Bertie Tolentino, Rachel Mercado Babala, Stephen Marasigan, Maria Nian, Rose Tan, Ricardo Santos, Michelle Bazar, Juan Lee, Emelda and Rosita de los Reyes. And for the healing of Enzo A. Santeria, Ludwig Vincent Tolentino, and also for the healing of Paulo, Dr. George Po, Ray and Fatima, Gets Resurrection, and birthday of Paraloman Palmes, Rose Tan. For the special intention of Aisel Aquino, Lily Chan. For the healing of Dr. Mercy Santi, Vincent Tolentino, Melinda Flores, Garrison Show. Menti Martinez, and for the soul of Elvin Gerardo, Teresa, Roberto, Margarita, Armen, Gerardo, Delphine, Benjamin, and for all the candle donors. Please all rise as we welcome our mass decider, Father Dun Sullivan, as we sing our entrance. Ganda po ng ating umaga. Kaya rapin po natin natin mga tabi at batin po natin sila na maganda umaga sa iyo brother or sister. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. We begin our sacred celebration in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God have mercy and forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Gloria and excelsis Deo.
kindly bow your head and let us pray. O God, who in the basement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with the holy joy, for on those you have rescued from his liberty to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity spirit of one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, Zechariah enters the fields of peace as he humbly enters Jerusalem. This oracle is fulfilled in Jesus, who enters Jerusalem in triumph, riding on an ass. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem, see, your king shall come to you, a just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim, and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Song I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will extol you, O my God and King. And I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you. And I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his works and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling, and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. In the second reading, Jesus brings us from the burden of sin, and gives the liberating spirit who dwells in our hearts, and stirs us to a new life of prayer. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the One who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. The one who raised Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the His Spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the other name. Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus explained, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your grace will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son. And everyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, magandang umaga muli sa inyong mga kapatid. So, pagkat na yun ay we are at the 14th Sunday at Ordinary Time, no? Kaya palakpan natin na malakas ng ating video. Ngayon na po ay pandemic. Marami ng mga tao ang napapagod na. Marami ng tao ang nagubuluhan na. Nahirapan na sa kanilang mga buhay. Marami ng mga tao, kung titignan natin, ay may naglalakad pa, may nagbibisikleta pa, papunta sa sa trabaho nila. Maraming tao ang nawalan na ng trabaho. Unti-unti, pero unti-unti na nagbubukas. Nagsarado na rin ang negosyo dahil yung iba ay natatakot pang lumabas. Marami ng tao ang mga maagang na maagang umaalis sa kanilang mga tahanan, naghihintay pa rin ang masakyan, no? mahaba pa rin ang pila kahit na meron ng mga mga modern jeep, mga buses, MRTs, mga traditional, mga traditional jeep na tinatawag natin. Pero, mahaba pa rin ang pila sapagkat ang ang naisasakay lamang ay 50% lamang samantalang noon punong puno pero marami pa rin pila mahaba pa rin ang, ang pila yung mga tao ay gusto nang umuwi sa akin, gusto nang umuwi, gusto nang magsibalik na sa kanilang mga probinsya. No? Talagang gusto nila nang umuwi. Marami nang tinatawag natin na locally, meron pang mga locally stranded individuals or, or tinatawag natin na LSI. Marami ang tao na bubutog na. Marami pa ang mga wala ng pera. Marami ng tao na bubulungan, natatakot na palagi yung nag-alala sa kanilang buhay at kalusugan. Mas lalo ngayon, no, ang simbahan ay pinapayagan na po magbukas na po. Ilang, ilang percent yung nakita pa din. 10% of the total population sa upuhan. Halimbawa dito sa inyo ay ilang ubang population yung upuan ninyo. Ay pagpanagay natin ay 700. No? 10% of that pwede yan. 70. <laughs> 70. At sa parokya ay 
450, 45, no? Pero yung mga tayo natatakot pa rin lumabas. No? Nag-alaga pa rin sa kanilang mga kalusutan. Dahil sa ganitong buhay, gusto na tao, gusto ng tao ng kapahinaan. Ano ang sabi ng Panginoon? Ano ang sabi ng ating mabuting Panginoon? Jesus invites us to to rest. No? Ano ang sabi niya? Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Dumapit kayo sa akin. Kayo lahat na napapagalap na bibigatan sa inyong pasanin at kayo ay pagpapahingay. Jesus feels that what he we experience. Jesus feels the burden we carry. Pati and burden from our duties and responsibilities. Kaya nga, si Jesus, no? kaya si Jesus ay is inviting us to come to Him. Lumapit sa Kanya. To find rest in Him. Amen? Lumapit tayo kay Jesus upang magpahina. Alisin muna natin yung mga maraming iniisip natin sa ating buhay. Yung bayarin natin, siyempre, yung mga tao ay ilang buwan na hindi nakakabayan. Kung may utak, ilang buwan ang hindi nakakabayan. Mark, siyempre, apat na buwan na. Yung mga negosyo natin, alisin muna natin Huwag muna natin isipin. Yung mga walang trabaho, huwag muna natin isipin. We could only find rest if you learn to just let Jesus be Lord in our, in our life. Huwag ang problema ang isipin natin. God is more concerned about our family. Siya ang mamamahalang sa buhay, ipaubahayan natin kay kay Jesus. Sabi niya nga, come to Jesus because He's meek and humble of humble of heart. Meekness means gentleness. Meek of heart is compassionate and merciful. Jesus is there not to punish. Hindi tayo parurusahan na just Jesus No, na hindi tayo parusahan not to condemn and not to burden us si Jesus ay nasa atin upang bigyan tayo ng kapahinahan and to repress us from our suffering sa pag-ihirap natin hindi mo ba He comes to us to enlighten He comes to us to lighten our Lord comfort us in our affliction and to console us in our sorrows. Yung kalukuhan natin nito ang mga, il mga ilang araw, lumapit tayo kay Jesus to accept us back, to hear with us, and to forgive us. So, with His humility sa Kanyang kababaan ang loob, Jesus is not bitter toward us. He is not frustrated with us. He is not disappointed us. Ipagpapatuloy niya tayo na unawain. Ipagpapatuloy niya tayo na intindihin. Ipagpapatuloy niya tayo na tayo. Basta pagtiwala tayo sa Kanya. Ipagpapatuloy niya tayo na halin. Amen. No? Kaya lumapit tayo kay Jesus. Basta meron tayo una. Lalapit tayo kay Jesus kapag meron tayo una. Meron tayong pusong tapa. No? Tinatawag, a pure heart. No? Mga kapatid. Kapag meron kang pusong tapa, no? a pure heart will speak good. Hindi ba kapag meron kang pure heart, inspiring and truthful words. Kapag meron kang pusong tapa, no sa mga tao alisin mo alisin ang puso mapagmataas no kapag meron kang pusong tapat no 
meron ang puso mapagkumbaba. Ang puso, alisin natin yung manhid na puso natin. Hindi ba? Alisin natin yung ano pa bang mga puso meron tayo? Alisin natin yung bato na puso natin. Alisin natin yung sensitive na puso natin. At alisin natin yung puso dugoan. Kapag hindi natin alisin yung puso dugoan, heart attack po yan, mga kapatid. Alisin natin yung puso nakakulong at mabaho. Anong tawag po doon? Puso na ito, mga kapatid. Our hearts must be pure in that. Pakalawa, lumapit tayo kay Jesus kapag meron tayong katulad niya. Meron tayong kalinisan ng puso. Our hearts must be clean. A clean heart will perform honest and worthy deeds. Ang may malinis na puso ay hindi marunong maingin. Ang may malinis na puso ay hindi insecure at envious of someone's popularity. Kapag meron kang malinis, meron kang kalinisan ng na puso. No? Hindi tayo naiingit kailanman sapagkat ang puso mo ay may kalinisan. At ang pangatlo na, na puso natin na dapat upang tayo makalapit kay Jesus ay dapat meron tayo no, puso tinatawag natin na puso punong-puno ng pangamahan. Diba? Our hearts must be full of love. Ang punong-puno ng pangamahan ay marunong, ma marunong magpatawad kapag punong-puno ka ng pangamahan. No? Hindi na papagod maglikod kapag may, may, may puso kang punong-puno ng pangamang open to help marunong tumulong and desires someone feeling. Hindi ba? Makikita mo yung may manggandang puso. Mga kapatid na marunong magmahal, lumapit ka lang sa kanya, sigurado, no? Ikaw ay magkakaroon ng healing sa buhay. No? Kapag meron kang ganitong puso, you are working for the salvation of your beloved. Ito ang puso ni Jesus na dapat natin gayahin ngayong araw po na ito. Kaya sabi niya nga, sabi nga ng ating Panginoon ngayon, sabi niya nga, lumapit kayo sa akin kapag lahat kayo na nabibigan tayo at napapagal sa inyong pasanin at kayo ay pagpapahingin. Kaya huwag yung vision natin ang ating lapitan. Kapag ang vision natin ay lapitan natin, hindi kailanman tayo makapagpapahina. Makakapagpahina lang tayo kapag si Jesus ang ating lalapitan sa buhay na. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang malakas ng Panginoon. Kaya hindi maulis na nyo. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, but to Son of God, the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by that was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became mine. For our sake, he was crucified under post Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. In his kingdom without them. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. He proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess to one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Jesus reveals to us that God is gentle and compassionate, is slow to anger and of great kindness. This prompts us to approach the Father with trust as we pray. For every prayer will say, Father, listen to the prayers of your children, Henry. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. May the church, <clears throat> under Pope Francis' leadership, stand upon the cause of peace, justice, and love, especially in places where war, oppression, and culture of death continue to reign with pray. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. May our bishops, priests, and deacons grow to be worthy ministers of their simplicity of life and their words of service and encouragement. We pray. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. May the leaders of nations and all government officials work for peace and justice and attend to the welfare of the poor and the homeless. We pray. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. May those who are oppressed by dehumanizing systems, elderly people weighed down by loneliness, and families separated by quarrels and financial problems, find consolation in you. We pray. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. May the Lord give healing and hope and comfort to those who are sick and abandoned by their family, and may the eternal rest be given to those who have died today. We pray. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. We pray for all those who are asking for our prayers, all those whom we have promised to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. We pray for all souls in purgatory, especially those who are enrolled in Alma Mascard and Mastandos. Those who remain are entered in our columbari. Let's pray to the Lord. Father, listen to the prayers of your children. Heavenly Father, hear our supplications. Do not allow us to be overwhelmed by confusion, doubt, and discord, but fill us with faith and courage in Jesus, your Son, and our Lord. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
brothers and sisters of the sacrifice of Jesus may be acceptable to God in the mind of God. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our path closer to life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Keep up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is through the right in us, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord of the Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We know it belongs to our its glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even passion for us, a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, through Him, the cause of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice we pray join with years in one chorus of exalted praise as we
God, you are great from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always pray from sin and stay from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus.
Can you bow your head and let us pray? Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and ever cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat na nandito ngayon, kahit na konti lang tayo, at least uh, we would like to say welcome to all of you who are watching us online and live video stream. Alam ko na kahit sa Amerika, nanonood kayo sa misa na ito. So thank you very much and uh, uh, we are not yet sure when we are going to open officially, but you are welcome here at Regina Rica as soon as we declare Rica is safe and you will be safe when you come here. So God bless you, welcome to all of you, and thank you for watching us over live video stream. Magpasalamat din po tayo sa ating parish priest na napakasipag, Father June Suribe. Amen. Magpasalamat po sa ating. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with yours. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim, go and proclaim the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Palakpan natin ang malakas sa ating pagkakaroon. And go on again to each other. For us, you know, prayer against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in the way of to ask your protection against the COVID-19 and coronavirus. Let us save lives and as a perfect reason. We pray for your grace, for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and this disease. As we in the time of its transmission, guide the hands and minds of my father's words that the daily minister is in. With confidence and compassion, and of those governments Everything that happens has a reason. 
I trust that no matter what, you will fight for me. I only need to be still. I need not fear anymore. Help me. Heal me. Hug me. Be here in my pain. Blessed pain. Holy pain. Blessed pain. Holy pain. I accept your will. Father, and of the Son, and of the 